Hey guys, just want to do a quick video for you today um, to show you how you can, as you're finding news articles that you find interesting, um, that you can share them uh, through Twitter without you actually being at your computer to tweet. Um, so I'm looking through my feeds this morning and uh, saw this article um, about the recent uh, malware attacks at Target and Neiman Marcus where like millions and millions of people got their credit card information stolen and noticed that, hey, apparently this was done by a very disengaged uh, teenager, 17. Uh, so this is what happens when your students aren't engaged. They go and they hack and steal credit card information. So please engage your students. Uh, <laughs> make, make sure make sure they're not out uh, stealing credit card information. Anyway, so let's say I wanted to tweet this. Well, I have this little thing installed in my Chrome web browser. It's a Chrome extension. It's from a company called Buffer. Uh, and this, there's a, you can go to buffer at bufferapp.com. Um, but you'll see up here this little button here that looks kind of like some pages laying over top of each other. I have, um, hold on just a second, let me take that highlight off. Um, I have my Facebook account and my Twitter account set up in here already. So by default, uh, when you click that extension button, Buffer will add the title of the article in. Of course, you can go in here and do and add anything that you would like. So we're going to <clears throat> Okay. All right, so after uh, trying to compose the correct tweet there and now that we're back, we're ready to go. I have my, my Twitter account selected, and I have a little blurb about the article in here. And you'll notice down here at the bottom of the window, you have two buttons. That you can say it's Share Now, which will immediately send this out to your Twitter stream. Or you can click the Buffer button. Now, you can load up to, if you have a free Buffer account, you can load up to, I believe, 10 tweets in advance. It may be more than that now. Um, but you can do at least 10, and they are spread out over time. Um, you can predefine those in your Buffer app, and I'll do another video here soon to show you how to do that so that you can uh, sit down in the morning or in the evening, whatever you like, whenever it's your time um, to go through your news and, and uh, you know find articles that you want to share with people or maybe that you want to just bookmark for yourself through your Twitter stream that you think are interesting, and you can queue them up in your Buffer stream and send them out rather than having to sit and tweet at your desk all the time, which as teachers I know we are time crunched and sometimes we don't have the time that we would like to have uh, to sit around and just read news articles, even though that's awful fun and we get a lot out of it, we learn a lot. <clears throat> but you can get all these ready in advance and they'll tweet uh, throughout the day and uh, you can share cool things with your Twitter community. So I'm just gonna hit the buffer button here and adding to your buffer, one more tweet to your buffer. And you will get a, an email notification from Buffer when all of your tweets have been sent out asking you to, hey, make sure you, you tank up your uh, Buffer account again. Uh, you're all done. So it's a, a really easy way that you can share content without necessarily having to be at your computer to tweet the content out. You can, can, can kind of set it up in advance to go out to your uh, Twitter followers, which is pretty cool. All right, so that's a video on that. Uh, please make sure you subscribe to get new videos as they come out. Uh, I'm trying to get one out every day for you, just a short one to show you some cool things that you can do as a teacher on the Internet to uh, share your teacher voice, improve your classroom, incorporate technology into your classroom. So make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.